Doing It with Brian and Darla. Hello, I'm Brian Tibster. And I'm Darla Nez Tibster of the Nez Juice Dynasty. Welcome to our life hack show. Whether you're watching us do it or you're doing it along with us, life is just better when you're doing it with Brian and Darla. Last episode, we showed you how to make salami socks. These meat feet were a treat. Just try not to take a slice. With everyone's fast-paced lives, it's hard to find the time to go to the gym. And even if you do make it to the gym, you spend half your time trying to figure a way of paying for those expensive membership fees. And the other half of the time, keeping your eyes closed in the dressing room, trying not to look at the other man's thing. Today, we're going to show you some rapid fire hacks on how to stay fit without forking over a lot of money or looking at another man's cock. Rapid Fire Hacks Don't buy from the ice cream man. Be the ice cream man. Keep up, Darla, keep up. When snacking in the kitchen, weigh your arms down with sacks of potatoes. Put most desirable snacks in the hard to reach areas. Oh, Brian. Try serving all your dinners on paper plates. Then when it's time to eat, take a pair of scissors and cut your plates in half. Here's my reasonable portion. And here's someone else's. The main hack. We don't know about you, but Darla and I can sit and veg all day long. Well, not so much me, but Brian sure knows how to while away the time. Darla and I discovered an exhilarating game while being chased in the mall parking lot the other night. It's called parkour, or as the French say, parkour. We're going to show you how you can stay fit by turning your residence into a home parkour course. Here are the things you'll need. The most important thing are tax. Lots and lots of tax. We'll put these aside until later. You'll also need some junk. <laughs> you know what they say, one man's junk is another man's home park course. If you're having trouble locating items, you can always turn to the internet. Let's see, large junk. Oh my God, oh my God. why does this keep happening oh. to us, Ryan? Hey, don't, I don't, don't ask that me. That is her junk and it's large. It's a woman's oh junk. My God. To make a parkour course, use found objects from your local area to place inside your home to use as obstacles. I found this cool mattress. And I found this wicked gate in our neighbor's yard. This garbage bin will be useful for our lachets and demitours. And this tire will be good for crawling through. And I'm going to place these winter hats around for something to do. And now it's tax time. Normally we hate doing our taxes. <laughs> This is fun. Brian, spread them all over your floor. Sick. Wicked. Now it's time to enjoy your parkour course. Well, now that we've had all that exercise, we've earned a few moments to check out some of your emails. Chilicon Valley asks, What's the secret for tender ribs? Two words, Tiger Bomb. It stings a bit at first, but feels great after a while. Lays Miserapples 21 asks, How do I stop watching these awful videos with these losers in them that make me want to kill myself? Well, simple. Stop watching them and start watching us. <laughs> well, thank you for watching this episode. Please join us again next time when we show you how to iron your pants in a slow cooker. And remember, subscribe where it says subscribe over here. And remember, the key to a successful life is never, never stop, stop doing, doing it. it. Never. The views and opinions in this episode do not reflect the views of the CBC or the National Theatre of the World.